Welcome to the October 10th, 2022 Advance Report from McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman with your weekly fast-paced tour of the global financial markets. I'm President, McGowan Group Asset Management, based at the Crescent in Dallas, serving affluent families. You can go to NetworthRadio.com, find out more about the firm and how to set your time for a brainstorming session with McGowan Group Asset Management, a team of 10, a team that cares. We get busy with the markets. September was an absolute disappointment for investors as the Federal Reserve went on their magical mystery tour of speeches saying we'll do whatever it takes to kill inflation. Those of you that tune in and subscribe, that's why you should subscribe, know that inflation has already begun to moderate. And for the first time, one Fed governor actually acknowledged it this week. But that relentless pressure saying we'll do whatever it takes to control inflation implies that they don't care if they kill the economy. This week, the good news that led to a rally from the September lows last week, that rally surrounded the jobs report, 11 million jobs available. This month it was 10 million jobs available, meaning the labor market's cooling off just enough to potentially be a Goldilocks scenario where the Federal Reserve finds their level where interest rates should be and they stop compounding pressure on the markets like June 15th and of course the end of September. The Dow finishing at about 29,500 this week uh, after rallying back over 30,000. What happens from here? Well, the Federal Reserve is likely to find the level where they're comfortable with interest rates, take the pressure off the market because inflation is moderated. And based on what's happened in the past, that usually leads to a blistering rally and a recovery in asset values. But this is the time that they've handed you a way to increase your portfolios to record cash flow. And yes, that cash flow will be valuable and it implies future gains as the Federal Reserve tightening cycle comes to an end. Now, here, Compared to the S&P, down about 20% for the year, and the, uh, the NASDAQ down 30% for the year, S&P low was about 25%, here's some successful dividend companies. What do they have in common? Well, they're medical, they pay a nice yield, and they were trading below 10 times earnings in the selection process. Unum, AbbVie, Merck, Bristol-Myers, not a recommendation for your portfolio until you come down and get a plan. They have gains this year, Unum 73%, AbbVie 6, Merck 16, Bristol-Myers 16, the group doing well over 20% in a down market, meaning selection matters. What else is working? The energy sector, a 53% total return so far this year with a nice yield. Oil tops $93 a barrel at the end of the week now that OPEC said we're going to cut production by 2 million barrels per day. The backstory here is actually they were 3.6 million barrels a day behind their production quota in their capacity. Wow. So they, they couldn't supply what they had been given quotas to supply. And, and that's undersupply and that leads to uh, further rallies in energy. S&P 500 earnings. You get a little contraction here uh, for the third quarter and fourth quarter, but then you start to move back up in earnings for the S&P 500. Wow, and that aligns with the fact that the Fed is near the end of their tightening cycle. Those two pieces could define something extraordinary in 2023 for great assets that are currently trading at bargain prices. Now, top 10, bottom 10 in the S&P over the last 90 days. Here's some clues on what's working. Uh, Pacific Gas and Electric was the old bankrupt California utility. Uh, they're up 44%. ConocoPhillips, Devon, Hess, Marathon. Those make up the majority of the top 10 in the energy sector. What's not working? 
Well, Lumen Technologies, Match Group, VF Corp. You're starting to see consumer discretionary. Actually, people are deferring purchases. That applies to apparel. It applies to a lot of things. And you'll see the consumer discretionary really continue to be in what is a true bear market. I'm Spencer McGowan, President, McGowan Group Asset Management. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to serving you from the Crescent right here in Dallas. Just go to NetWorthRadio.com. Thank you for tuning in to Net Worth Media today, and our efforts over the past two decades to educate clients and help clients make great decisions. That's the reason that we're here at YouTube McGowan Group, Apple Podcasts, Net Worth Radio, and NetWorthRadio.com. The Net Worth Media effort is designed to help you make great decisions and address value at risk of loss, fluctuation in the markets. Remember, if we talk about a security, doesn't make it a recommendation until you come down and get a plan from McGowan Group Asset Management, the team that cares. You can set a Zoom meeting or an in-office meeting at the Crescent, and we'll give you a written plan that encompasses what we believe to be the best allocations. This is a team of 10 devoted to you. That includes the research that you see each week from Reuters, from Bloomberg, and from the best sources. We always post links at networthradio.com for what we believe can help you make great decisions, the research that comes up. Now, the net worth media effort is also designed to address cycles in the market, value at risk of loss. At networthradio.com, you can get the ADV form that shows, yes, we're a fiduciary, a registered investment advisor. It covers the costs of hiring our team to help you in the future ahead. It really helps to have an expert team on your side that you can reach by phone, email, and of course, a team that's here for you every week to address what's going on in the markets because anxiety can often lead investors to make decisions that are either dangerous, chasing things, or selling things when they shouldn't. And that's a big part of our planning effort at McGowan Group Asset Management. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to serving you and your family in the years ahead.